Hello subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is Vivs from SlideNerd here. In this video, I'm going to talk about method overriding with the help of a simple example. I'm using NetBeans here and there's nothing great in my code so far. This is some class called overriding test. There's a main method here. There's a class cycle with int weight equals to 10 as one of its variables. And there's the class by cycle with string brand equals to 0. Right now, there's no relationship between class cycle and by cycle. Now let us say that the bicycle class is a specialized type of cycle. In other words, we simply say our bicycle extends cycle over here. So now let's go inside the cycle class, try to make a method. I'm gonna say public void print info. Inside this print info method, let me just try to print the weight. I'm gonna say system.out.println. So at this point, nothing great. Just go here inside main method, say cycle, cycle equals to new cycle create an object now if you say cycle dot print info run this shift f6 nothing great there's just 10 that's getting printed here right so there is this method over here now inside my bicycle class let's try to see what happens if i create an object i'm gonna say bicycle now you remember very well that class bicycle extends from cycle which means there's a copy of this variable int weight and a copy of this method print info which is available inside the class bicycle you don't see it so here I can directly go and say bicycle dot bicycle dot brand and bicycle dot weight I can print both of them I'm going to say system dot or dot print ln same way I can print the brand here since it has access to both things I can also call the method by saying bicycle dot print info and if you run this you should see something very similar so the first 10 comes from cycle dot print info then there is 10 which is bicycle dot weight then there's the brand bicycle hero right and then there's the print info that gets called on the bicycle now remember this print info method was copied to the class bicycle and that's what ran here when we tried running things now this is the normal stuff which happens so far but if I go here inside my bicycle and now if I see public void print info and now if I go here and say system dot out dot print ln here if I simply print the brand and let me just add another piece of string here that says super class and prints the weight and here it simply says subclass and prints the brand and let me remove everything from above just keep the bicycle object so now cycle cycle is new cycle alright cycle dot print info and there's the bicycle object and bicycle dot print info so here is the question to you guys since bicycle has its own method print info defined over here it also has a print info from a copied from your super class which print info is gonna work that's the question let's run this try to find out as you guys notice when I say cycle dot print info it is saying super class and printing 10 which means this method is running but when I say bicycle dot print info it says subclass and prints hero in other words even though there are two copies of print info available inside the subclass it will use the subclass version of this method print info as opposed to the above one and that is because it sticks with the most recent version making this known as method overriding so hopefully you guys understood something about what method overriding is. This is the simplest way I can explain what method overriding is. You have a superclass, you have a subclass. There are same methods in the superclass and the subclass. Which means the subclass object has two copies. That is one from the superclass and one from its own class. However, it will use its own method whenever that method gets called. Like here by saying bicycle.printinfo, we'll be running this version of the method. So in the next video, I'm going to talk about something called accidental overloading with overriding. And we're going to find out what's the difference between overloading and overriding. In the meantime, if you like what you saw, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.